Hola chicas! So, um, today I'm going to show you my workout que yo hago. Este, um, es total body. Uh, I, I went and I run, well, I didn't run today. I actually did stairs. I live in an apartment. So, uh, I usually, I used to, before coronavirus, I used to uh, go to the gym and use the Stairmaster. Well, I have no Stairmaster and I'm still a little scared of going out and about. So I use the stairs outside. So <laughs> yeah, for 20 minutes I go, 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 go. And then I come inside the house and then I do this little workout. I, um, I have to be creative because I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't have a lot of weight. And um, actually like, like a few, well, a year ago, I lost a lot of weight. Like it wasn't weight, I lost sizes. So I kept the same weight, 143, 144. But what happened is that my pants, like I could put my hand in, but I, what I was doing, I was doing a high protein diet and a lot of heavy, lift, uh, heavy lifting, uh, weight lifting. So <laughs> I cannot do that because I can go to the gym and I usually, I, I don't have those uh, things at home. Um, and I don't have the money to spend. And even if I had the money, I don't have the space because I, like, I live in an apartment to have, you know, all the heavy weights and things like that. So um, I have to be creative, um, you know, use what I have, uh, you know, to still lift a little bit of weights here and there. So I'm gonna show you uh, today, uh, something else to mention I wanna share with you guys. So um, I'm a fan of going to Instagram and seeing all the, the, the influencers that have wonderful bodies, uh, like Sanada Greca, like Ala Ines, and um, you know, and I try to copy their workouts. So what, what's happening is that uh, obviously I, you know, I was following, but you know, we have to learn or, or the movements and to do the movements right. And depending on the body, that might be a little different. A little different. So my husband is a physical therapy. So I started having a lot of knee pains. Oh. And he, while, you know, I did the exercises in front of him and he said, it's because you're doing it wrong. So he helped me to, uh, he, he, he told me, okay, these are the things you have to look for when doing these exercises or when doing this, this is the things that you have to look for in order for the exercises to work. Because I could be doing 300 lunches, but if I'm not doing them right, you know, if I'm getting knee pain instead of butt pain, I'm doing something wrong. And, you know, I can do a thousand lunches, but if I'm not in the butt, it's because I'm doing something wrong. So we need to learn how to work out. So uh, luckily, I, I have him here and he teach me how to do it according to my body, um, you know, uh, to my mobility, uh, my strength. Uh, so today I'm going to share with you some of those tips because I, I hate being hurt. I hate hurting myself while working out or having pains because that affects my workout and I don't want it to affect it because um, I want to stay in shape. Um, although, you know, I remember I told you like a year ago, I lost a lot of pound. I feel like I'm gaining it because of the stress. Like I'm not following my diet very well. So anyway, that's another story. So let me share with you to, today's the total body. I went and I did stairs for 20 minutes, no stop. So what we're gonna do now is, this is a booty exercise. So I have a 10 pound kettlebell. This is what I got. I wish I had something more uh, with more weight, but this is what I have. Uh, so if you have one, grab it. And what we're gonna do is that we, I don't know if you can see, let me put it more down here. Um, there you go. So you're going to put your, your one of your feet in the front, right? And then the other one is going to go on the back. And, and then you're going to, um, vas a doblar both of your knees, you know, full, you know, um, I don't know how you say it in English. <laughs> you, you, you know, you bend both of your knees a little bit. You grab your kettlebell with both hands. Check it out. I was doing it wrong. I was grabbing it just with one hand and going down because it's easy. Uh, and then my husband's like, what, what are you doing? I was like, I'm doing the butt exercises. And he's like, uh, no, you're doing it wrong. So you have to grab them with both hands, okay? And then uh, pull, uh, bend both of your knees. 
and then meta los tamales, you know, like uh, your tummy, very tight, that tummy, and then very straight trunk over here in the back, and then you go down, and then up, and then make sure you squeeze that booty, you know, spend some seconds to seconds of yours with your booty, and let's go two, booty, three, now, remember, through all this time, your stomach is stuck. So whenever you come up, a lot of your strength comes from your tummy. That's what helps you come up. I lost count. I guess eight, nine, ten. Something else that he told me is that make sure your front um, uh, food is, uh, is the whole food is in the ground. And it's like if you're like grabbing to the ground like that, that's how it should be. You're grabbing to the ground with the top, with the front one. I guess 13, 14, 15, squeeze the booty, 16, make sure you have your 17, your tummy tuck, 18, 19, we went for 25, 20. If you feel like you're starting to hunch, make sure you you know, you go back. It seems easy, but do you hear, do you hear me already like breathing? All right, 23, 24, 25. And then we're gonna do the other leg. So remember, and you should be feeling it right here. If you're not feeling it right here, you're doing something wrong. Uh, something else that I was doing wrong is that I was, um, the leg right here, I was I had it too close to my other foot, you know? So I was doing this. So uh, he said, make sure you have, you know, a good distance behind it. And you're gonna notice that also makes it harder to keep your balance. Okay, make sure you, with your, with your fingers of your feet or your foot, you, it's like you're grabbing to the ground. Because like that, uh, you're also working your feet. Um, a lot of the issues that people have is that they have weak feet. So uh, he's like that, like that, you also strengthen your feet. Are you ready? Uh, I'm breathing hard. 25, we can do it girls. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Five, starting to burn. Six, seven. Make sure que tengan los tamales metidos, eh? The tummy in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Squeeze the booty. Thirteen, fourteen. Remember, the power is coming from because your, your tummy is. It's stopped, so that whenever you push up, it's coming from your tummy. 18, 19, 20, my legs are shaking. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Whew. Okay, now we're gonna do it with both legs, okay? Ready? So we're gonna go. Woo. So what I have here, um, just to put a little, bit of, a little bit more weight, my husband has this thing. I really don't know what it is, but it's 15 pounds. And according to him, this is five pounds, this is 10. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that weight in here. And if you only have the kettlebell, that's fine. Uh, use the kettlebell, you know. I'll, Algo is mejor que nada. Little weight is better than nothing. So, come on girls, we can do this. Uh, I need to lose this weight that I lost. Oh, something else. Um, so, I'm using this weight trainer when I, weight, weight trainer when I work out. So, um, so yeah, it feels pretty good. It really makes me work that talking my, 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 my tummy because it's already talking my tummy. So I really have to work that talking it myself, um, you know, it's like I'm competing against a waist trainer, because the waist trainer is, ya me la aprieta la panza, 
So for me, you know, it could be ACL, just let it. But remember, the power comes from your, your, your abs, you know, your, your abs, your, your stomach right here. So I have to remind myself to come on, tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. Uh, so yeah, so it works. And I'm putting them pretty slow, I'm pretty sure. Okay, ready? Uh, ready? Open your legs a little bit. Again, I used to uh, put my toes up. No, 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 no. Make sure your toes are touching the floor. Again, they're grabbing the floor. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Tuck the, tuck the tummy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, stomach. The power is coming from your abs. Oh, I forgot. 13? 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. Five more. 21. 22. 23. 74, 25, okay, now let's go to our arms, okay, so I bought this little thingy, I think five and below, for five bucks, so I'm using it, um, if you don't have one, you can be on the floor too, it's nice, let me show you on the floor, with it, I'm just be on top of it, like these, um, I'm gonna make sure you can see better. And we got it, you can adjust it too. So I'm gonna do one arm with and the other one with other. Okay. Oops. Okay. So we're gonna do arm. So something to keep in mind is make sure you have this part of your back in the thingy. If you're on the, on the stepper or something, um, just so you don't hurt your back. Um, also, you grab your kettlebell. Make sure you're not doing this, because I, I, I did that too. I, I did everything wrong. I think I still do some stuff, but, uh, so I used to do this. One, so what's happening? My wrist, mm -hmm. so make sure, and you're gonna feel it too. When you're like that, you don't feel so much in your arm, but when you're straight, make sure you keep your wrist as straight as possible as straight as possible so you don't hurt it okay okay that's one of the main things i see a lot that people are like they fold their wrist and i'm like oh yeah yeah, yeah. i remember that pain okay ready 35 one two three four five remember your tummy stuck six Seven, eight, nine, ten. What you're gonna feel too is that you're working your abs here too because you're only on one side. So you're gonna feel like you wanna go to one side. So make sure you need to tuck your abs to make sure you don't go to one side. I think that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, oh my god, I feel like 24. You guys can do it. 25, woohoo. Okay, now the other arm. Um, for this way. I'm gonna, oh, this one I'm gonna do it with all these things so you guys can see that you can do it too. Um, so, and you, you, you see, if this is one of the first time you do this exercise, you're gonna see, um, you know, you're gonna feel it in your tummy as well. Uh, especially when you use something like this, uh, like you're uh, like on top of something. Ready? 25. Metan los tamales, girls, o la pizza. Lo que hagan comido ayer que, que se arrepintieron de comer. Um, when, but on Friday I ate like so much pizza. I regretted it, but oh well. It was a Chicago style one. Ready? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you not have your 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 wrist. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, yeah. Come on, make sure your hand is in the middle, wrist is, is straight. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Awesome beans. Okay, now we're gonna do for our, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Is it forearm or back arm? Okay, this, whatever it's called, we're gonna do this, okay? So you grab your kettlebell and you go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Are you feeling it too? 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo! Okay, last exercise. Arms two. You are going to, uh, let me fix this so you can see right. There you go. Okay, ready? So we're gonna push the, the kettlebell up and then make sure it goes back. One, two, three, four, Five, six, oh my God, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, I'm gonna do five more because I can still do five more. 12, 13, 40. I feel my back burning. 15, I can do five more. Yes, we can. Two, three, four, five. Woo. Oh my God. If you can go for more, go for more, girl. You can do it. Again, you're not competing against me. You're not competing against a neighbor, against your friend, or, you know, you're competing against you, you know? If, you know, the first round you did 10, say the second round going for 12, and the last round I'm going for 20. I started with 10, and then I did 20 right now. So you're competing against you. You know, you always want to get better every rep or every workout. Um, so that reminds me, the last exercise is a wall sit. Again, I'm competing against myself. The first time I did the wall sit in a long time, I did like a minute, almost a minute, and I was dying. And then I tried again, I did three, minute, three minutes. Then I tried again, and then I did 315. And then I tried again, I did three minutes. So I went down and set it up. So, let's gonna try it again. Do it with me. Get your wall ready. Okay. This is my wall. Can you see? Okay. Okay, with the wall set, something that I learned is that you don't put your arms in, like in your legs. It ha you have to keep them up here. Ready? Can do this. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, um, so this week, actually, yesterday, I started a um, like an inflammatory detox uh, diet. I'll put it in the link. I got it from Pinterest. Uh, I'm not following it to the T because. I didn't have some of the stuff. I my my local grocery store didn't have some of the stuff. So I'm alternating. You know, I I already had some stuff in the fridge, and I didn't want it to go buy other stuff because obviously I don't want food to go bad. I don't want to spend more money. So still healthy, still detoxing, um, and uh, still healthy, still detoxing, and um, oh my God, it's burning. Okay, your aunt has to be here. Okay, don't forget, you can put it in your legs. It has to be here. Uh, and um, so 
So yeah, like I'm not about to like go buy the whole groceries, whatever you have at home, finish it. And then, you know, um, so it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually felt really good yesterday. The last week was so stressful because my husband was sick. We thought he was, he had coronavirus. So I couldn't sleep the whole week. So I felt uh, so tired during the day. I was eating uh, not very good, a lot of chips, a lot of pasta. A lot of not very good food for you so that's why i wanted to like reset and detox okay we have a minute and 30 seconds so oh so yeah even yes last week i didn't work all that much that's why i get some vision diary this week today and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this water because it's burning 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 okay whenever you're feeling this burn get, okay Whew. Get a reset. Power from your, whew, from your trunk, from your abs. My legs are starting to shake. I don't know if you can see my little grasita shaking over here. We can do these girls. Come on together. We're at 21. We start at 19. 19, 19, 20, 20, 21. That's two minutes and 17, 18 seconds. Yes, we can. Come on, we can do three minutes, girls. You're still with me? Come on, come on. Yes, you can. Okay. So, yeah, the detox. I'll put the, the, the link, the one I'm following. Um, I'm doing it for two days, but I really like it. Like, the food is pretty good. The salads, it's no meat, the only, no, no red meat. The only protein is that I'm eating, or part of the diet is salmon. So, yeah. I'm not a fan of fish, but you know, I bought some in Costco that they were already prepared, so those are not bad at all. Okay, we're going for two minutes. Ooh, three minutes! If you join me tomorrow, we can do 315. Um so yeah. Anyway, so I hope okay, so this is you have to do this set. Um you have to do it five times okay so that means you do a total of 125 reps because remember each exercise was 25 so you do it uh, f you do five sets that's 125 um, of every single exercise we did so if this is the first one you do this is my last one so make sure come on you can do it you have four more to go you feel it in your body booty 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 so yeah, yeah, and I'm really trying to work my booty because as you can see, I don't have any. So, okay, so keep up working out. Come on. Oops. So rest for a minute and let's go back to it, okay? Uh, so see you later. Uh, let me know if you have any other workouts or any movements I can ask my husband or you can follow my husband uh, in Instagram at positive actions like that like that under dash the one that goes in the bottom pt positive action the little rayita pt i think he also has videos on youtube positive action pt and uh and you can learn more about it so okay come on finish those four reps so those two uh four more sets come on bye chicas bye